Hi, survivors. It's me, Prepper Zan, reporting to you. Hope you guys are doing well because what's going on in this world is not horrible, horrifying, to say the least. Now, um, you got want to talk to y'all today about there's so much going on. It's like you got to ch choose choose a subject uh, that you think that's that's the most important to get out at the time because all of it is really important. But um, I really want to talk to you guys today about, I know I talk about food a lot. I talk about water a lot. I talk about weather a lot. You know, um, there's a, a rumor, and I believe it to be true, that the poke is in the meat. The poke is in the meat. And I wouldn't doubt it. They said they might take it as far as um, telling the ranchers that if if your cattle or if your meat don't have the poke in it, it won't be able to be distributed or they can't sell it or, you know, how farmers make their money. I've been talking about that food in the market for a very, very, very long time. It's so questionable. I, I, uh, I screenshotted a comment and the comment said they went about a rotisserie chicken. You know how they sell the, the whole rotisserie chickens at the store. And he said that the, the, the skin looked like plastic. And I can attest to that. I've seen a lot of meat like that. That's why I don't really eat meat no more. It's not because so much I don't like meat. Because I'm a native Texan. And that's what we grew up on. Barbecue and all these types of different things. But it's because the meat, it ain't no good. Uh, but that's what's really going on. He said the bone was black. And he was describing the um the skin of the meat, uh, saying it looked like a purple a purplish color. Yo, I'm telling you, it's like these days, if you don't you're not eating your own food, if you're not limiting the food that you're eating in the market, and if you're not uh uh providing your own meat for yourself in regards to having your own chickens, ducks, rabbits on you know on, on your land when you raising them yourself, cows and whatnot. That meat is very questionable in the market. That's all I'm going to say. Allegedly. And now that they're ushering in all these nasty mandates in the mark of the B-E-A-S-T and all these ugly, ugly agendas, I wouldn't trust nothing dealing with this wicked, Luciferian, Satan-loving, demonic-having, witchcraft activity system. Allegedly, but that's what's really going on because everything about it ain't nothing but evil. Everything about it ain't nothing but satanic. Now we got all these extreme, extreme problems at the border. Been having major problems at the border since this non-administration then came into effect. And so whatever food we do have going to be depleted. Or whatever resources we do have, because they flooding in the gates. And they letting them do it. Be careful with what you're putting in your mouths. Be careful with what you're putting in your children's mouth. That's why I try to iterate to everybody. Um, before this, before everything got as bad as it got now, I was trying to do whatever I could to encourage people on how to prepare. For what's going on right now. I say if you can. Start disciplining yourself. To eat one meal a day. I still only eat one meal a day. And I'm even precautious. When it comes to that meal. Very very precautious. I try to eat as healthy as I possibly can. But they're even talking about. How they putting stuff. In the vegetables and fruits and whatnot. We have to be careful. We have to pray over our food. We have to continuously watch, fight, and pray. Don't give up. I know times are hard. They're extremely, extremely hard. And I'm a realist, so I'm going to have to tell you the truth. It's going to get even harder. <laughs> this, 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 this ain't no uh, Alice in Wonderland show. You know, this, this ain't nothing fun or nothing uh, easy to deal with. But we're going to have to be precautious. We're going to have to... 
uh, not be so trusting and, and, and keep it on our minds when you're going out to work or when you're going out, you know, keep it on your minds when you're going into this market, what we're dealing with. And, uh, you know, people try to say, read the labels. I, you know, you can read the labels all day. A lot of times, the, some, of, some of the times the labels are going to tell you what's really going on. And, and then sometimes they're not. And if you look, and my friend had put me on to this years ago because I didn't know. I thought all the food in, like, the local markets came from local areas. Y'all, that stuff be shipped from here, shipped from there, come from overseas. I mean, food that we eat right here. Shift from everywhere. By the time your hands get to it, you know how many hands didn't touch it? You know what it's been through? It's horrible. It's horrible. You know, so we're we going to have to continue to pray, pray, stay out the way, and be mindful that anything that we're not producing ourselves got a big question mark on it. Anything that we're not providing for ourselves got a big question mark on it. Anything that they have coming up in here through this place, that place, this person, that person, got a big question mark on it. A huge question mark on it. These days and times, I wouldn't hardly trust nothing to nobody. I'm just being honest. It's so much demonic activity going on. You know, people have lost their minds. You know, some some of these family members have lost their minds. Some friends have lost their minds. I'm telling y'all, it's just it's just wicked. It, it, it's, just, it's just really wicked. And I'm not trying to make anybody paranoid. Or anything like that. I'm just saying be careful out here. We living in some crazy times. We're dealing with spiritual warfare. We're dealing with these Luciferian uh, gov officials and politicians that's doing all kinds of crazy and all kinds of wickedness. And these people got the power and the resources to do it. And it's awful. And it's terrible. So let's just continue to be prayerful. Pray over your food. Pray over your food. Stop eating all this nasty food. The food is terrible. If you talk to a lot of off gridders most of them would tell you one of the main reasons why they got off the grid was so they can't, was so they could grow their own foods in abundance. How they were getting sick eating the food in the market. And y'all, this is another reason why human lifespan is not as long as it used to be. Because of this nasty food. This is another reason why a lot of people who are trying to lose weight can't lose weight. No matter how much they exercise and whatnot. Because of this nasty food. This is another reason why people are getting sick. Diabetes, high blood pressure, cancer. Can't hardly breathe. Stomach way out to hell because of the food. Cut back on this food, on this nasty, 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 nasty food. And try to exercise and stretch your, stretch your body and take walks. That's something that we should be doing daily. You eating this, you eating this food daily, you should be exercising daily. Even if it's a 20, 30 minute walk or just stretching right in your house or just walking right in your house. That's the least. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. Be careful what you're getting in these markets. Just be careful what you're feeding your children. Be careful what you're feeding yourselves. Please follow me on Patreon for real, raw, uncut, unfiltered content. Please support the allegedly and the good luck with that t-shirt if you can. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can do it by way of Cash App or PayPal. The links will be in the, in the description. And if you're looking for bug eye areas and land, I have some for sale at least in Texas. And as always, survivors, watch this world, watch the weather, smell your water, boil your water before you use it. And please go to prepazan.com, scroll down and send me your email address for the free newsletters. And remember, the food is very questionable. Watch what you're eating. Keep surviving. Prepazan.com.